Broken Fugue, Solfege, Day 32, Kitty. Hey, Adrian, do you still play at that jazz club? Yeah, why? Adrian looked hopeful. Did you decide you want to give it a spin? Marinette giggled nervously. Not yet. I was just curious about something you said. Hmm? What? That no one knows who you are but the owner. What did you mean? How do you manage that? Oh. <laughs> Adrian chuckled. It's kind of dumb, actually. I'm surprised my cover hasn't been blown already. Or maybe it has, but everyone's playing along out of pity for me. I wear a mask and dress differently, style my hair differently, and I always wear a hat. I guess I've made a sort of secret persona. Oh? Marinette's eyebrows shot up. You wear a fedora? Yeah, actually. How do you know? Marinette shrugged. I could just kind of see it. Adrian laughed, missing her stunned expression. I'd expect nothing less from Miss Fashionista here. Marinette needed confirmation. Does this persona have a, a name? Yeah. He wrinkled his nose. I'll tell you if you promise not to laugh. Marinette gulped. Deadly serious. Too serious, actually. Chanoir. The color drained from Marinette's face. Ah! She squeaked at a loss for words. That's a catchy name. Thank you for listening to this final part of Broken Fugue, Solfege. As I mentioned in the preface, this is only a series of short, non-chronological drabbles to give you a preview into the AU. Later, once my works in progress are complete, I will be publishing the full series with a complete narrative and in chronological order so it won't be as confusing. I appreciate everyone who's stuck with me until the end of this drabble series. I hope you're looking forward to the full series as much as I am. If you happen to have any remaining questions or thoughts about the AU, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what's on your mind. Any and all feedback will help me in my writing. Thank you all for listening. I love you guys. See you soon.